I'm here today at the Harvest Festival at the Pocono Environmental Education Center, and we're in Dingman's Ferry, right? I'm here with Andrea Ace. What do you do at this marvelous place? So I am the special events coordinator and summer camp director here. Okay, and I guess today will qualify as special events. It's uh, the Harvest Festival. Oh, and my gosh, it's a, an absolutely gorgeous day. What are, what are some of the kinds of things that people can expect to see at a Harvest Fest? Uh, we try to do things that involve some pioneer crafts or activities. So we have a cider press, we have applesauce making, there's a Yum. Guess the Way to the Pumpkin <laughs> contest. Um, I saw the pumpkin was enormous. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even figure out it was. Where yeah. did they get? No, where did they get a pumpkin that big? We have a um, a friend of Peak who actually grows them, and they're organic pumpkins. So he grew that all just organically with llama manure. Oh, see, I know, I know a lot about llamas because I worked at a llama farm, right. and absolutely, llama manure is your ticket. Yeah. That pump that pumpkin was enormous. What do you figure it weighed? Well, I know the answer. Well, I guess I can say it. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't even enter the contest. You can tell me. I think it was 130 secret. something pounds. That's a big, big pumpkin. So you mentioned that it, that some of the activities here are pioneer activities. Does that mm -hmm. mean like they're old-fashioned activities? Yeah, our harvest festival is for people to celebrate things that come from the land, and some of the people have done that. So we have a blacksmith who's here. Oh yeah, I saw that. Like, he's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the cider press, and you know the things that people would have made more just directly from the land instead of because they couldn't go to the grocery store to get something off the shelf. Right, right. So that's kind of what we're celebrating. Well, I had some of that apple cider from the apple press. Absolutely mm -hmm. delicious. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it, and you were serving it in little cups. I had three, don't tell anybody. <laughs> now, I also noticed you have a lot of educational exhibits here. Right. There was one about composting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a worm box and it does our <laughs> composting. I, I love the way you just throw that. Yeah, but just the worm box. It's, you know? it's only <laughs> the worm box. <laughs> um, and we'll put some composty, like, um, like banana peels or apple cores and they'll help to decompose and break that down and that's their sustenance and then they create the soil which we then will use in our gardens. Well, so the soil, I was looking in the box watching what they were doing, that soil is very rich and dark and, and thick. Those, those worms were really working hard. <laughs> yeah. But as a matter of fact, the person who was over there, she's from the park service, she actually gave me some worms to hold in my hand. Yeah. The worm Very fell asleep. He wasn't working. He was exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't working anymore. You also um, have some of the local um, groups from around here that are like, like Gate. What would be their connection to a Harvest Festival? Well, we like to celebrate the harvest, but then at the same time, it's a community day. So we like to yes. have different nonprofit organizations and educational institutions. Um, we're in the park, the Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area, so we have a park ranger who's here who can answer questions about the park. So it's also the community coming together. I think one of the most wonderful things about this center is how you're making kids and adults, but with the kids programs, environmentally aware of, of what's going on in the world because um, our environment's at risk now. And when you start educating kids really young in, the, in this area, they grow up with that awareness, which is really, really important. Now, one of my favorite things here, I went inside, you, you've got like a, a giant hawk's nest mm -hmm. that a person can go in, and I, like I could yeah. pretend I'm a hawk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep, that's in our eco zone, it's an interactive science um, museum display and everything is intended to be something that you otherwise wouldn't have the chance to see or experience. Right, who, who would ever get so. to be in a hawk's nest? Like you're a hawk and you have a bat cave in there? Yeah, there's a bat cave, there's a beaver lodge, and a lot of it was designed by people who did study those habitats so they know exactly right. how to make the cave and the cave formations that look realistic. Um, the beaver lodge, they're actually made from real beaver chews from um, other area beaver they, lodges. They do, they no look longer active. Okay, so but right. It is. It's not just looking right. realistic, sometimes it is actually. It was the, the real deal. Right, mm -hmm. so when the beaver left his home, you were able to use it here. Mm -hmm. Isn't yeah. that what a great use of being sustainable, right? Right, 
hopefully some people will get to have a unique experience here. It was very unique for me. I was <laughs> pretending I was a beaver, even for mm -hmm. just one moment. Right. You got a gorgeous day for, for all of this and a, a really nice turnout of people. And this is your fifth year. I'm looking forward to your sixth year. I bet you grow and grow every year. <laughs> That's always what we aim for. Um, we also like to have a lot of local vendors and crafts and artists. So uh, anyone who is watching this video who does make their own handcrafts yep. or things that are ecological environmental items, feel free to contact Peak. We always are looking for new vendors. Right, and, and that's how I ended up here from Roosters at Hunting Tower is Richard D'Ambrosia who does gorgeous, gorgeous work in woods. He works in reclaimed woods and he's the person that invited me today and told me all about Andrea Ace from the Pocono Environmental Education Center. Gorgeous day here. Make sure you mark this on your calendars for next year.